Hey, Quad Bros, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. Lots of players that enlisted, especially newer players who might not have played a game like War Thunder before, struggle with close air support planes and enlisted. I know I certainly did when I started playing. So today, I'm going to be breaking down some basic tips for flying and providing your guys' team with some epic, proper air support. I'll also be showing these tips being put into practice to give you guys an idea of what it actually looks like in-game. As a quick note before we start, keep in mind that this is not a guide to flying, this is a guide to providing close air support. I'm going to be assuming that you guys already know the basics of controlling your aircraft and are able to mostly avoid crashing full speed into the ground. If you don't, click the card in the top right of the screen to get a basic guide on flying before or after you watch the rest of this video. First up, as any experienced player is going to tell you, knowing where to bomb is 90% of the challenge in the first place. And while teammates may mark enemy positions or vehicles, you're not always going to be able to rely on this to be accurate or even happen in the first place. What you guys can do is look for clues on the battlefield to find enemy positions. Tracers from enemy squads or your own team can give you an idea of where concentrations of enemies might be. Also keep in mind the map. Hit locations where opposing players are likely to be building rally points or be attacking from. Think back to where you last played this map on the opposing side and you were attacking or defending. Watch the kill feed for tank cannons that are getting kills, and keep an eye out for muzzle flash from those cannons. Remember, tank machine guns always have a very distinct green tracer that will lead you right to them. Also keep in mind that while in the air, you can still mark ground targets. So while flying towards an enemy or away from the battlefield, throw some marks down and you'll hopefully be able to catch an enemy vehicle. Likewise, if your team has already marked an enemy tank, make sure to place a second mark on them to extend the duration and ensure that you'll know their location as you begin your attack run. So in this example, I'm not getting any marks from my team, so I'm going to put some marks down myself, try to find an enemy vehicle. I got no luck on that, so I'm just going to fire a pair of rockets at the doorway of this objective. It's going to end up splashing through the doorway into the objective and killing eight enemies, which is going to end up clearing the way for my team to cap in just a second. But what I noticed is that in the top right of my screen there, I got some shrapnel hits on an enemy vehicle. So I'm going to turn myself around and I'm going to immediately start hunting for this tank. I'm going to put some marks down just like I did before because I don't know where he's at and I end up getting a hit. So now it's going to be an easy fly in, drop two rockets right into the side of them and net myself an easy kill. So hopefully this illustrates to you guys just how easy it is to give yourself free kills essentially just by using the information that is readily given to you guys and just thinking just a little bit about where enemies might be. And this also ended up getting me the objective, so I ended up helping my team a ton, and we move on to the second objective. As another quick example, I've been fired at by an AA gun, so I'm going to be flying in pretty low under these trees. I'm going to fire a pair of rockets off to where I think the AA gun is. You're going to see it's going to start returning fire, so I'm just going to flip over, drop two rockets on their head, and secure myself in very easy nine kills. This is, again, a great way to take down enemy aircraft emplacements. If they're firing at you, you can just quickly go low down underneath where they're going to be able to aim and quickly blow them up. Same thing happens here. I was fired at. I can see some tracers. My team is in that area to the left. So I'm going to drop a bomb right there and it's going to net me a big old kill streak as well. Again, guys, utilizing the information and your knowledge about the map is key to being a good air support pilot. Next up, keep your head on a swivel. Never do an attack run and then blindly fly back to rearm. Always look behind yourself as you exit the area over the battlefield. Watch for enemy planes who are going to try to get on your tail and maneuver away from them. Also, keep in mind that bombs on your plane are going to significantly slow you down. So ditch them whenever you're forced into a dogfight. That small boost to speed and maneuverability can be what turns the tides and allows you to rearm instead of crashing into the ground in flames. You're going to see that exact thing play out right here. I'm flying in for a bombing run. Don't get too many kills. I'm going to be trying to flip around, but I hear a cannon firing from behind me, and I see that a plane uh, is trying to get on my tail. You can hear me drop the bomb right there, and that's going to give me the boost that I need to quickly outmaneuver this very slow and sluggish BF-110. A little bit of fancy flying later, and I am behind him as he's trying to now go in for a bombing run, and he is going to be the one that ends up going down in flames now let's move on to weaponry starting with rockets rockets and enlisted come in all kinds of shapes and sizes some are good at anti-infantry some are good at anti-tank but all of them can dish out serious damage when aimed properly 
The most important thing to note about rockets is where on your aircraft the rockets are actually located. On some planes, such as the American P-38, the rockets are under the nose of the plane, making them an absolute breeze to aim since they'll fly directly towards whatever your crosshair is actually aimed at. Other planes, like the IL-2 or the P-47, have the rockets under each wing, meaning that most of the time your rockets are going to land to the left and to the right of your plane, so keep that in mind whenever you're aiming at something that needs to be directly hit, such as a tank. Where your rockets are located can also dictate what your plane is actually good at. The aforementioned P-38, for example, excels at taking down enemy tanks because its rockets are so simple to aim and you can easily direct hit the vehicle. The P-47, on the other hand, while it can take down enemy tanks with a direct hit, is normally better suited for anti-infantry since it comes with more rockets with more explosive power at the cost of overall accuracy. Knowing what your plane excels at is absolutely crucial towards being a good pilot. You don't ever want to be the player who's been sitting in a plane for an entire match and only ended with 15 kills. Always go for the high percentage targets and the targets that you have a high chance of taking out. Otherwise, you're just going to be wasting time that could otherwise be spent on the ground helping your team directly capture objectives. Just to show this off a little bit, guys, I'm here in the P-47, so I know that my rockets are on the wings of my plane. So as I fly in to attack this tank here, you're going to see that I'm not going to be aiming directly at it. I'm going to be aiming to the side, a little bit above it, to the left, and I end up getting a hit. Now, I will say straight up, that's a little lucky. The P-47 rockets, as you can see, are very inaccurate. They kind of go all over the place. So this isn't something that I would recommend you guys consistently do. You could fire all 10 rockets from the P-47 and not end up taking out vehicles sometimes. Thankfully, the P-47 does have a 500-pound bomb with it, which leads us into our next section, bombs. Now, bombs are much trickier to aim compared to rockets, but they can cause absolute massive devastation when dropped by a good pilot. The biggest mistake I see new pilots making is too shallow of dives and from too low of altitudes. When you spawn, you want to climb up to about 700-800 altitude or so before you begin your run. When you do begin your attack run, you want to be going in in as steep of a dive as you can. The faster you're going, the steeper your dive, and the later you drop your bombs, the more accurate you're going to be. But also, to go hand in hand with that, the faster you're going and the steeper your dive, the harder it's going to be to pull out of that dive. So keep that in mind about when you drop those bombs. Some planes, such as the JU-87, have built-in air brakes that you can utilize to slow yourself down during a dive, and ideally allow you to pull out of it. So be sure to utilize those when your plane has access to them. Now, not all planes need a dive bomb to be utilized effectively. Some planes, like the JU-188, can simply drop their payload as they glide over an objective. But these planes are fairly few and far between, and simply make up their lack of accuracy with sheer payload size. Even still, increasing your angle of attack will, will help you accurately land your bombs even if you're in a larger plane, like the JU-188. Accurately landing bombs is one of the hardest things to do in an aircraft, and arguably in all of Enlisted, but it can be incredibly satisfying when done properly. I recommend you guys spend some time in the practice range, just flying around, practicing your dives on the tanks that are in the map. This is going to massively increase your chances of landing those bombs accurately when you inevitably do it in a real match. There's always more to talk about, especially regarding such a complicated topic like close air support. But hopefully this has given you guys a basic introduction and some building blocks to providing close air support for your team. And you'll be able to build on it and continue to grow your skills as you play. If it did, make sure you guys like and subscribe as it always helps me out. And leave a comment down below about a particular tip or trick that you've learned while piloting in Enlisted. Without anything else, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Take it easy.